<laughs> no, we're just we're not grumpy. We're just, we're just, we're just, we're just, yeah, we we we, we get no respect. That's a, it's like the internet. Get no we, respect. Absolutely, we, we, we're supposed to do one thing, but we'll do that after this. So this stuff. Well, you know, that, here's the irony about oh, oh, okay, this, this is, is old camp. and this is not a spring chip. You know, sometimes we get in these mood because, as you know, we are part of the internet media and. Oh God, they do not. A lot of old me, a lot of old world companies do not like me. This, I mean, if you're internet, you might as well be a bug that they want to try to stop, want to get rid of. Well, you know, here's the challenge: is it's almost they're like protecting. It's the old guard. They're protecting what they have. You know, it's like tradition, the glass ceiling. It's an old boys club, pure mm -hmm. and simple. They, um, it's got to do with bean counters run the old world. They. They cannot figure out how to measure things on the internet, so they don't like the, what they do not like what they can't measure because they can't tell people. Well, they've got 40 million links, but you know, but that doesn't mean anything to the people that are basically buying time from them. Right. What's 40 million links? Well, we had 21,000 videos out there. It's an indicated video that keeps, keeps getting copied over and over. Yeah, and over. We're, we're, we got videos on 21,000 different sites. That's a heck of a. You tell me how many newspapers are seen in 21,000 <laughs> places, or how many TV stations are seen in 21,000. How many books are? How many magazines are carried? We're, we're carried in 21,000 in about 140 different languages. Actually, I one time met somebody. They said, oh, so you're Monty Bubbles. I said, yeah, why? He said, because I would always be looking for things on the Internet, and Monty Bubbles kept coming up. We're at the top of everything. I mean, we're basically at the top of the page in almost everything we yeah. do. We're almost, you know, well, here you might say, well, this video's only got... 40 hits. Well, yeah, those are 40 people taking our video and putting it on other sites. <laughs> or else it went. You know, so, but... Um, because uh, I also hear from people that have done interviews, they said, do you know how many Google alerts? Because he said yeah. it keeps popping up all over these places. I said, yeah, I said, we're syndicated. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, like, people, they say, well, you know, well, you, your website doesn't have any advertisements on it. Well, yeah, it doesn't have any advertisements. I don't want any advertisements. The website is there as a, as sort of as something for people to go to and look at. What we do is we do we do things on, on online. I mean, we produce programming. We got lots of. We just produced an hour and a half, uh, an hour and a half special mm -hmm. last week. We did an hour and a half special. You know, so what do we do? That's, well, that's what we do. We also supply. We have the most 3D, and we have the most 3D programming in the world available. Nobody well, actually, part of it is, is they're watching us, and if you're following us, you know what we do. Yeah. And if yeah. you don't know, you really don't like what we do. If you see it. <laughs> or. <laughs> no, we do things. Or you just watch one thing. <laughs> no, we got it. We tried for about the nine millionth time. If we were in, if we were broadcast, if we're doing this out of new, out of say um, Boston right now, how would we be dressed? Well, we'd probably be dressed in clothes that would be pertain to Boston. We are Southern California. One of the things that a lot of people appreciate is the fact that we do things in a very casual Southern California laid back style because they they got because crappy weather. Going. They have crappy weather. We went to the beach yesterday. Where, and where else are you going to the beach? Well, that's true. And see, part of it. Is, see, see, you read. It's either one way or the other. Some people don't care, but some think you should be dressed a certain way if yeah. you're talking news. And you should deliver it in a certain manner. Others, for us, we represent, you know, let's just say they'd rather be, you know, more relaxed, easygoing. We show the California lifestyle when we cover news. Yeah, and we do it. We, you know, we, we dress respectfully. If we were allowed to do the Academy Awards, which doesn't like online, if we were allowed to do the Rose Parade, which doesn't like online, we could do Universal that doesn't like online. <laughs> But I think it's not funny with Universal because Universal is now owned by Comcast and Comcast is an online. Basically, their money comes from um, online services. But actually, yeah. part one of the trends that we are seeing is well, actually, there's video. Actually, you know what we're seeing? First of all, when when organizations start to have a really bad time or they're in decline, they only let in the media, the traditional media that they know over and over and over. That's that's dedicated just to their portion of the world. Right? Plus the fact it can't be instantaneous. See, we we can okay. We uh, a few years ago we went to uh, we went to a thing, and basically the, the the TV stations are all there. All we have is our computer and our modem. You know, our other wireless so we can get on. We we beat everybody in the whole bloody world by about. 
10 minutes mm -hmm. because they have to get everything up there is all the every, everything up get a signal that they send the thing out all we had to do was to turn the computer on and then just type it out that it happened but see part of it is I think one of the trends that we're starting to see is before they they buy it broadcast right so sometimes like they might be open to other riders it's only open to NBC and NBC affiliates yeah it's only open to ABC and ABC affiliates. Yeah, and uh, that, that we were talking about before we we were so rudely interrupted by phones that aren't supposed to be in this room, but <laughs> but um, no, they are. They basically they, they they niche themselves in. Like um, for instance, some organizations basically sell all the all the television right, all of the online rights too. Right, and and they do niche themselves in. Oh, actually, you know who's, who's a great example of that is ESPN. Yeah. Because ESPN, as you know, is on cable, and then they have their own online. Yeah. And but they have niched themselves in so much that... That they can't online people. For instance, I'm on ESPN's and X things list, press list. I can't go to it. I'm on their press list and cannot go to their events. Well, you're online. Yes, but I'm on your press list. Well, I'm sorry, but you're online. <laughs> They automatically eliminate me, even though I'm on their press list for all these events. <laughs> and they send me the things out, telling me, you know, inviting me there. Oh, you're online. See, that eliminates you to a lot of these things. Um, that, Some, sometimes it's the fear that you might either a somebody else has already bought out the rights. Yeah. Number two, it's the fear that you're going to show it right away and do live video. But yeah. all they have to do is tell you not to, although the, there are rules. the portion about that is there's the people that don't pay it's attention to that. It's the people that. that don't. But the problem is, if you worried about the people that don't, the broadcast industry would have never existed. I come from an era, I mean, I flat out, from an era where a newsman would be dressed from up here. I mean, why do you think the guys wore jackets and ties? Because a lot of the news people were, this is, this is Bob, you know, cowboy Bob. This is, you know, this is, you know, your, your friendly chicken. You know, this is your, your clown. This is, they were wearing, from the waist down, they were wearing outfits. It's why, the, it's why you didn't have legs showing in those days. The, the desks were closed. They stand behind a desk, sit behind a desk or stand behind a podium that covered the fact. From here down, they were wearing some costume from a children's show. Or, because, you know, like I was at a little station, everybody did everything, so basically you're basically handling camera, and then as soon as you get, they know what you, okay, you grab, you know, the guy that came off camera gets camera, you're wearing jeans or shorts. Yeah. And basically because it, it oh, room's got, it, we did not know air conditioning in the 1950s, folks. Well, the funny part is, is the more things progress, the more they stay the same. Yeah, in, but in it's the same years. bloody people that founded the industry when I started are running the industry today. They can't, they, 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 they're locked in to something that ceased to exist 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll tell you, the people that basically created demographics, for instance, are my age today, and they can't understand, well, why doesn't anybody pay attention? I have all the, I, I do all the spending. You outgrew the demographics. You outgrew right. the demographics. I mean, so, uh, you know, women are, all, you're only allowed to get certain age. If you're, basically, if you're too young or you don't do that, you don't count in this country. It does not make any difference. Also, if you happen to have a program that with a star that's my age in it, say like Dick Van Dyke and Diagnosis Murder, and it hits the, it hits the same crowd that, uh, Friends is hitting. Well, you know, he's an old guy. So you go to the young guys that are, and they're hitting the very same audience. I mean, uh, I, I did some work years ago on, um, uh, on Daniel Boone. And it's basically why Fess Parker got pissed off because they bounced Daniel Boone so that they could, because uh, Daniel Boone wasn't doing as well against the Waltons as he should have been doing. Well, Daniel Boone was beating the Wallace, beating the hell out of the Waltons every week. Mm -hmm. Just kicking their butts every week. And guess what demographic category he was kicking their butts in? What today they call the prime demographic category because the people grew up with Fess Parker. They were young, watching Fess Parker a few years earlier playing um, Davy Crockett. They grew older and they were now that prime audience, so they watched Daniel Boone. So they replaced it with Flip Wilson, who basically was good but wasn't Daniel Boone. And Flip Wilson went off after a few years. But um, you know, we, we're just in a pissed off. We just, we've had a bad week because we're internet. <laughs>
We, 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 and the funny part is, is where do people go? They go to the internet when yeah. they want to find something out. The, 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 because the internet is like, um, let's put it this way, if Alexander the Great would have had access to the internet, the Library of Alexandria would have been on the internet. It wouldn't have been in a building that got burnt down but during the days of Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. And because the internet is the largest library in the world. You can find anything about any topic. And it scares the hell out of a lot of people. Our government doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. Net neutrality is a design Well, we have to make certain that everyone has access to the internet. And the only way we can do that is to make certain only the people that have the best interest at the heart of the people that want access to the internet should be allowed to run the internet. Cable companies and te telecom companies can't be trusted. Mm -hmm. Well, the people that they want to put the internet in the hands of hate the internet with a passion. I know. Because they're old world. They cannot figure, okay, uh, NBC is basically getting ready to lose Hulu because they couldn't, uh, they, they couldn't figure out how to make money. But, and it's not just NBC. Because no, remember but, Disney bought Go. And they couldn't figure out how to make it work. Yeah. They, uh, and if you're going, what is Go? It's, it's Go a, was... It, it's a three, I think it's a three billion dollar private network for the Disney company now. And that, when was, when was I mean, that was, was AOL big. was really big. And they were basically, it was a heavy challenger, but they could not figure out how to make it work. Um, uh, we're, we're trying, uh, Fox owns MySpace. They cannot figure out how to make money off of it. Everybody, most of the networks, that, uh, and, uh, and a lot of TV, okay, every, virtually every um, newspaper in the country or magazine has a website. They cannot, if they charge for the people to come there, they don't come, so the state then collapses. Mm -hmm. You can't charge for the web stuff. The web stuff, is, okay, um, we're trying, was it 1952, I did my first television stuff. When was a big year for 50, I remember mm -hmm. 3D stuff that year too, but because I could actually, I, I, I looked like a, a, a nice German with blonde hair, mm -hmm. and so I get to play a lot of, and of course I played Indians at that time too, which didn't sort of mess in with the blonde hair, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I, shall I digress, but I, I'm in my mad mood, but um, <laughs> no, in 52, I can guarantee you, this is the word from, how the hell are we going to make money off of television? Mm. Nobody's going to pay to watch it. So uh, basically, you know, that's good Folgers coffee that I'm having today. You know, how, how do they actually get, the, how, get that taste? And then the announcer, we brew it in a secret 24-hour fashion. And then, you know, you know, you know, I never thought about that before. Or you'd have your, um, you know... We have our infomercials. You know, this is probably the best and sharpest knife I ever had. It's a good thing my wife got it for me so that I could cut the, thank, cut the Thanksgiving turkey with it. Commercial. We have, um, you think that uh, the Spamola, that we should be using Spamola, you know, macaroni to make our, our soup today with, or should we be using the competitor brand that isn't quite as good a quality? <laughs> no. That is how we made money. We did live commercials, and then from those live commercials, you found out that people would actually pay attention to things, which is, we're talking, a whole industry was created by people my age today that were then young and innovative. I mean, they had commercials like you wanted. People would, I guarantee you that in the 1950s, people stood outside of windows watching commercials in um, appliance stores, watching the commercials were being ran, because you'd see, uh, you, you'd see, People that you ne knew never did didn't do television doing commercials. Mm -hmm. They would not do, I mean, we're talking major motion picture stars that did not do TV that would do a commercial. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, they'd come on, you know, fine Corinthian leather. <laughs> yeah, because they had these really beautiful speaking voices. They were handsome. They were beautiful. They had, you know, don't blame me because my hair is so beautiful. Aww. You know. Are, are they, you know, the old for the hair commercial? Uh, thank God for Alberto V05. Yeah. Uh huh. They actually, I, I think there's more of that that I see in television now. Yeah, they're going backwards, they're stepping backwards because. Um, and we've been talking about this yeah, actually for years. Yeah. Just you so. take a step back to the future. A lot of the people, okay, what happens is a lot of the people watch. Well, okay, TV Land used to show the old commercials until TV Land decided to abandon the old programming. Mm -hmm. And the new programming doesn't have the old commercials, but they used to, you sit there, the young people that are up to date sitting there watching TV Land because they want, you know, they got a lot of really good programming in the 1950s and early 60s. 
things that you, you know, you won't do that today. I mean, because they're, um, today, it's if the program doesn't work, you, they cancel the show five minutes after it's in because it doesn't work. Whereas then, and you have seen that. Some yeah. shows don't make the West Coast. Well, remember, the Dick Van Dyke no, show, Dick Van Dyke sucked. I mean, it was basically, uh, I remember Carl Reiner said, basically, we drowned. We weren't even on life support. We had drowned. And they gave a second shot. Well, God, the Dick Van Dyke show ended up one of the greatest shows in the history of television. But it was bad. It died. The programs were really, I mean, what happened was, it was in... In the 50s and in the early 60s, there were more things to do than there are today. Mm -hmm. So people would basically, if you, this is when scheduling was very important. You realize that, for instance, in, 19, in the 50s, 